Hi, welcome to my channel, The Divine Storm 369 Tarot and Oracle. So I am going to bring out a message for you that Spirit and the Angels would like you to hear. And I'm asking Spirit and the Angel Guides to deliver this message to anyone that will benefit from hearing it. So let's go ahead and see what message wants to come out today. New love. Okay. So someone has a new love, a new relationship, a new person that is walking into their life. You may have already met this person. Okay. And I feel like you are falling hard for this person. Okay. Um, I'm seeing that in the card, you're barefoot here, which shows me that you have opened yourself up to this person. You've been vulnerable with this person. Okay, I don't know why, but I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say it with the feet thing. Anyways, <laughs> um, you've been vulnerable with this person. You feel like you can open up to them. You feel like you can be carefree. All right, it feels very carefree, very joyful. And again, I feel like you're falling very fast. They've definitely stirred something up inside of you to where you're feeling that romance is in the air, okay? And this is a new person that has come into your life, a new person, a new relationship, and you feel like you're really falling for this person, okay? So let's get another card. And if this hasn't happened yet, it's about to happen. Oh my goodness. Look, we have number 33, which is six, the lovers. We got sexual arts. Okay. So, okay. Can I just say this connection is hot? It's steamy. It's full of chemistry. Um, the passion between you is explosive. Um, the sex between you is going to be like just something that is out of this world. Look, they're like up in the clouds, you know, and they're just completely off earth. Okay, they're just completely off earth. All right, so um, yeah, very, very intense energy here for you and your person. If this person hasn't come in yet, okay, if they have not come into your life yet, they will. All right. Again, I feel like you guys are going to be exploring um, parts of your sexuality that you haven't explored before or that you haven't uncovered yet. Okay. So I'm sensing that, you know, this is a type of energy where you're going to be doing things with each other um, that both of you have never done before. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is Very sexual energy, okay? I also feel like there is such a comfort level between the both of you that you're able to just open up. You're able to just um, allow, like, the other person to um, kind of, like, explore, take control sexually um, because you trust this person Okay, and you feel so comfortable with them. Honestly, I'm feeling like there's not a lot that's off the table here sexually between the two of you. Um, and I feel like this person walking into your life, okay, it's like they may have reignited your sex drive. Like, all of a sudden, you're feeling a very strong and intense sex drive, or you're very aware of your sexuality and your sexual desires around this person, it's like they ignite that in you. I also feel like the longevity of the sexual attraction, the sexual energy, um, this is not going to fade. Okay, so I feel like, yeah, it's this is a sexual attraction that is here to stay. All right, like it's not going anywhere. Um, it is long lasting is what spirit is telling me. So you might be worried that this, you know, attraction you're feeling is going to fizzle out at some point and spirit's saying, no, that's, that's actually not true. 
okay? And anyone that tells you that all sexual attraction fizzles out at some point, that's not true, okay? I mean, of course, it can be true, but it certainly is not a fact for everyone, okay? And that's not a fact for you and your person either because I'm seeing that this is a very long-lasting um, sexual attraction, okay? All right, we have number 14, Solutions, Archangel Zadkiel. All right, success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Why does it feel like when you're with this person, it's like they, it's like you can't, it's like you lose your self-control, you lose like your composure, it's like you completely lose yourself with this person, and vice versa, they feel the same way with you as well, okay, um, I think you're both very passionate people as well, and you know, with 14, 14 is about intimacy, so I feel that there's, there's so much intimacy here that is shared between you, okay, and again, long-lasting energy. This is definitely twin flame energy, um, definitely divine feminine, divine masculine energy. And with 14, this is also the two polarities, water and fire, um, you know, feminine, masculine energy. So it also tells me, you know, this could be a twin flame connection, yeah, um, a soulmate connection. Yeah, so I feel the message here is that this may be a new love, this may be a new person, um, a new connection, a new relationship, but it doesn't mean that it's going to fizzle out. It doesn't mean that it's not long lasting, okay, because from what I'm seeing here, it is, okay, this relationship has all the potential of being long lasting, okay, both sexually, um, romantically and all of the above, all right, so the message here as well is remember to compromise with your person when the time comes, all right, that's, that's a message that I'm getting from spirit, so let's see what other cards we have, okay, we have release, I kind of feel like this is sort of a sexual message. So spirit is saying it's okay to let go with this person. It's okay to explore with this person, to explore your romantic feelings, your sexual feelings. Um, it's okay to explore those desires inside of you that you keep hidden that um, you've never told anyone or maybe you don't even want to like admit them to yourself, it's okay to explore those parts of you with this person, okay, and um, yeah, that's what spirit is telling you, that it's okay to release your reserves, to be open with this person, and I feel like this person's very accepting, um, is what I'm seeing, and this is someone who loves to really please their partner, um, so this is someone who's very non-judgmental as well, um, when it comes to when it comes to the sexual arts, okay? So let's get another card. Gentleness, okay? So again, I feel like this person's very gentle emotionally, um, mentally, okay? And spirit is asking you to be very gentle with yourself and your person, Okay, surround yourself with gentle people, situation, and environment. So I'm seeing that there is a very hot passion here, but there's also like a sweetness and a gentleness to this connection as well. Okay, but it's like you might not be gentle with yourself all of the time. Okay, so Spirit is asking you to be gentle with yourself, and you might be judging yourself um, about this connection or just feeling like you're losing some confidence, judging yourself about fully opening up, you know, feeling reserved about 
sexually opening up to this person and um spirit is asking you to be gentle with yourself okay you might be being a little too harsh on yourself because there's no need for that here in this connection all right they're saying it's okay just breathe just take some deep breaths okay um take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and again we have release old pattern why do i feel like spirit is saying like you need to get laid or something i don't know it's so weird um we got listen to your intuitive feelings so spirit is saying that you are getting all the information that you really need from your intuition all right um your body is telling you how it feels your body is telling you um what it needs from this person, what it wants from this person. So spirit is asking you to listen to your body, okay? That you are receiving accurate messages from your body and to listen to your body, okay? And to go with that, okay? Breathe and go with what your intuitive feelings and what your body is telling you, okay? We have divine order, okay? So the angels want you to know that this is in divine order, okay? That you are meant to meet this person when you did, all right? And everything is exactly how it needs to be right now. Um, I think that you might be... You might be under an illusion about this person or, um, you know, trying to convince yourself that this person isn't really who they seem to be or who you think they are or how they present themselves. Or again, I feel like there's fears that this connection is going to sizzle out. The passion is going to sizzle out. And spirit is saying, no, this connection is actually in divine order. You were meant to meet this person. You are exactly where you're meant to be right now. So please release those fears. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle um, with what you want, okay? Be gentle with your person as well. And um, look past that illusion of fear and see the underlying order, okay? See and feel the fate and the destiny, um, between you and your person listen to your feelings to your body to your intuition okay and just breathe and you'll feel that so I think you have a hard time being objective looking at this relationship because you have a hard time really being gentle with yourself okay and spirit saying in order to be objective and to see a clearer picture okay you have got to be very gentle with yourself at this time, all right? Um, because I think that any harsh energy is really going to cloud your vision, cloud your perception. And so I'm feeling gentle music for you, gentle environments, okay? Um, soothing environments. And I really think that energetically the universe um, wants to soothe you into opening up more towards yourself and with others as well. Okay. I'm also getting in this connection, you might be feeling some type of way about it because you feel like there's something about the relationship that you've done like out of order or out of timeline, or you might feel like you've done something backwards, you know, but spirit is saying that's not true. Release those fears. Okay. Because Everything in this connection that has happened has happened because it was meant to happen in the way that it happened, okay? So release all of those fears and again, be gentle with yourself. Okay, let's see what other messages want to come out for you. I'm also noticing a lot of green. I think that your heart chakra is slightly blocked I'm not picking up like a big blockage but I feel there is a slight blockage which you can open up by listening to gentle music vibing with the gentle music and um, 
you know, I really feel like that's going to open up your heart chakra. I think that music touches us in our heart chakra. And for you, only gentle music, only, you know, loving gentle music is what spirit's saying. Or meditating with very gentle music in the heart chakra center. Okay, so spirit is asking you again, look at this. You can't make this stuff up, you guys. Look, what did I just tell you? Protect yourself from harsh or fear-based energies or environments, right? Or people or music. Okay. By envisioning a cocoon of healing light surrounding you. So whenever you get those doubts creeping up in your mind, whenever you start getting those thoughts where you are being very judgmental with yourself, harsh with yourself, okay, um... Remember to release those energies and envision a cocoon of light around you that is shining a light on all those dark energies, fear-based energies, fear-based thoughts, and um, forcing them into light, okay, so that they don't exist anymore. Okay, think about when you're in the dark, you're sitting in a dark room, you see all kinds of shadows and things, and then you turn on a light, they disappear. They're not there anymore. Okay, so again, you know, that's what you want to do. You want to envision that light around you, all right, and just envision that light penetrating inwards into your thoughts, into all those places inside of you that are holding negativity, judgments, harshness, and just breathe them out, okay? Just exhale and breathe them out. Watch them release, okay? Watch the light completely get rid of those dark energies, dark thoughts, okay, whatever, harsh energies, I'd, I'd rather say. Okay, heal away any addictions. This includes being addicted to harsh music, being addicted to harsh thoughts. Abalone can help you to soothe those addictions, so can amethyst. All right, it's time to let go of behaviors that are blocking you from your heart's desire. Um is what Spirit's saying, and you need to be shielding yourself from this as well. So I feel for you, this is being harsh, this is not trusting in divine order, um, feeling like you've done things out of order, um, things like of that nature, okay, questioning yourself, questioning your person, and Spirit's saying, shield yourself from those doubts, okay, you might have a tendency to do that, Okay, to do that in your mind, and you should be shielding yourself from this. It's not in divine order. Release it. Okay, solar plexus chakra here. So again, issues with confidence, um, issues with feeling powerful, taking the initiative, taking charge of your life, um, and spirit saying it's safe for you to be powerful. It's safe for you to feel powerful. It's safe for you to take charge of your life in positive ways, okay, it's safe for you to have this, you know, spirit saying this relationship you have is positive, okay, it's not unhealthy, um, and I think you might feel strangely about it, because I think that for you, you do have some unhealthy patterns of thinking that's coming from not allowing yourself to feel powerful, not allowing yourself to feel confident, questioning yourself. I feel like you question if this person really likes you and you just tell yourself it's going to fizzle out really quickly and that's really not true. Okay, so Spirit's saying it's time to heal and shield yourself from all of those thoughts. Work on clearing that negativity out of your solar plexus as well. Place an abalone shell over your solar plexus chakra and imagine all of that energy being absorbed into it, okay? And then you could take the shell and put it in the water, put it in the ocean to clear that out. So you clear it out, send it away, send it down the water. You could send, put it in a pond, put it in a river, in an ocean, okay? And give it back to wherever it came from. All right, we have the Three of Cups here, the right hand of God. Fame and renown influences 
commerce, voyages, great discoveries. So again, I think you are on a journey. This is a journey that's going to bring you some great discoveries about yourself. And I think that this person is helping you to learn about yourself in ways that um, you were too afraid to learn about yourself before or that, uh, you know, they're helping you to discover things about yourself that um, you never discovered before, okay? So that's what Spirit is saying here, that you're going to make great discoveries about yourself. And through this connection, I think you're learning to get to know yourself on deeper levels than you've ever learned before. And in some way, your person is also doing this. So it's mutual there. Okay, so we have loyalty. So the angels are also wanting you to know that your person's very loyal. They have a very strong sex drive. This is strength. Okay, um, but they're very loyal is what they're saying. So, um, yeah, they're saying this person is loyal. You don't have to worry about that. So let's get another card. And it's also about being feeling overwhelmed, okay, um, but yeah, I think that that's a question you've had because this person I feel has such a so strong sex drive, you question their loyalty, but the angels are saying they are loyal, okay? Okay, so we have this in reverse. I think you're afraid of being embarrassed or being humiliated in some way. Um, there's like this fear for you that you're afraid of being humiliated with your person, okay? And um, the angels are saying you don't have to worry about that, okay? That you don't have to worry about that. Um, you know, I, I don't... I think this relationship is meant for you to heal those parts of yourself that worry about that. And, um, you know, this person already um, accepts you, loves you, believes that you are, like, really super sexy. Okay, like, no, you don't have to be embarrassed about this person. This is just the solar plexus being off. Okay, so again, working on the solar plexus. Okay, we have desire for knowledge, protects from liars, okay, protection from liars, um, protection from evil spells and bad spirits, okay, so spirit and the angels want you to know that you are very protected um, and that, again, you're uncovering knowledge about yourself through this connection, um, very deep knowledge about who you are, and um even spiritual knowledge with the hanged man here. And um, you are protected from any liars about your connection. You are protected from any spell work um, that anyone might be trying to do on this connection because this connection is in divine order and no spell work, um, no bad spirits, no lying energy is going to harm this connection. So the angels are protecting this connection. Okay. And they want you to know that. All right. So we also have restitution, um, finding stolen objects and discovering the person responsible. So this message coming out here, I think, is um, finding out knowledge about yourself that has kind of that you've forgotten about yourself or maybe some joy about yourself, desire about yourself that you have buried so deep that you've really forgotten it. Okay, so I feel like all of these things are going to be reawakened to you. And again, this is getting to know yourself on a deeper level through this intensely sexual and romantic love relationship, okay? Okay, so we have longevity. So Spirit is saying this this is not going to fizzle out. Okay, this is a long-lasting relationship. This person is loyal. And um, yeah, you have protection against um, 
against cheating, against um, people trying to tempt your person. You know, you have protection against all of that, okay, because your person's very loyal and the angels are with them. Your relationship is super protected by the angels, okay? Um, yeah, so let's just get a couple more cards. So Spirit's saying you don't have to worry about a thing, not a thing. The only thing you have to worry about is being able to be yourself, okay? This is a journey. Look, let it go, okay? Be yourself. All right, it's time to prioritize you with Archangel Metatron being here. Focus on your highest priorities, your desires. I will help you get organized and motivated Okay, and then we have choose peace, and this came out in reverse, so I think spirit doesn't want you to walk away from something just because you feel like it's easier or um, it, it's the peaceful thing to do, like don't walk away from this relationship because you feel like someone else wants this relationship or something along those lines and you're afraid of kind of rocking the boat. Spirit saying that this is um this relationship is divinely guided, okay? It's meant for you. All right, so we have base chakra. Choose only positive thoughts to describe your home, your career, and your finances as your words determine your outcome. Okay, so Make sure that when you describe yourself and your thoughts or your words, um, when you're describing your home, your career, your finances, that you are using only positive words, okay? We also have clear yourself of any negative things that you've said about any of those things, okay? And Spirit's asking you to drink more water, okay? So you might be a little dehydrated as well. All right. So yeah, um, I feel like there is some toxic people around you who are jealous of your connection, jealous of your relationship, and um, sorry about that. <laughs> your angels and your spirit guides are saying you are very, very protected. No one is going to mess with this connection, not with a spell, not with a lie, not with a bad spirit, okay? Um and Spirit is asking you to clear yourself and release any toxic energies that you may have picked up, okay, around these people or absorbed, especially around the base chakra, the lower chakras. I feel like this is where that energy is settling, okay? So definitely clear your lower chakras of this energy and make sure you're shielding yourself around these people from now on, okay? So let's get another card. Four cups in reverse, seizing the day. So Spirit's saying, do not ignore this connection. Do not ignore your feelings, your desires, what you want. Okay, seize the day. Seize the moment with this person. That's what it's meant for. All right. We also have the two of coins in reverse, planning and execution. All right. Um, this is Jupiter, Moon, this is also Jupiter and Pisces, okay? So this is a great expansion of what you have tried to ignore about yourself in the past. Um, I feel like these things are going to come up into your awareness, and it's like you're going to be, you're going to accept them, okay? So things you've tried to ignore about yourself in the past, you're on a journey to accepting those things. And I think this connection is a part of that journey, all right? We have the Hierophant. So I feel this relationship is heading towards a commitment, all right? If you're wondering if there's a third party, there's not. We have King of Coins um, as well. So yeah, again, Spirit emphasizing the loyalty, the devotion of this person. Um, they're very mor moral. <laughs> they're very moral. They have a lot of integrity, okay? Um yeah, that's what I'm getting here. They're not going to ignore your emotions as well. That could be something that you've dealt with in the past. This is not the person 
to ignore your emotions, okay? So yeah, that's the message that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye.